I mean, can I get my fortune read? But of course. Is it too late? I apologize if it's too late. Not at all. The stars are brighter and the spirits are closer at this time. I suppose so. Comfortable, are we? Yeah. It's cozy. What is concerning you, Mr... Mr. Curtis? <laughs> you tell me. You're the diviner, Madam Kitty. Okay. Mr. Curtis. Vatican. Ridge. You are troubled. Yes. Vodka. 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 You are on the run. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> Pardon me, ma'am. That'll be a dollar. A dollar for that? For the whole fortune. You look like a man of means, <clears throat> Mr. Curtis. You are on the run from the Pinkertons. You're right. You divined it, Miss Kitty. They, they're, they're relentless. They got us on the run. They even have the women detectives, if you can believe that. Is that even legal? I don't know, but it's unnatural. They got this woman, Karen something. Oh, Kate. Kate Warren. I've heard of her. I can't believe that they would put a woman in harm's way. Yeah, it's, it's, it's unnatural. It's unbiblical. Well, there ain't no Bibles around here, Mr. Curtis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I hear she's clever. A real devil. Oh? <laughs> what do people say? Well, they, they say she's real crafty. Really? Yeah. A real crafty bitch. <clears throat> well, I haven't been around town long. Most people aren't as curious about their destiny as you are, Mr. Curtis. I end up going from town to town. People think of me as a villain or a heathen just for the work that I do. That's all right, though. I have my own wagon. And I've learned to make my own way. That's admirable, Miss Kitty. Madam. M Madam Kitty. You know, since you've made your own way, you, you might be able to help my brothers and I. You see, we, we need some help. The Pinkertons? It's not like that. It's not like that at all. You see, my brothers and I, we got an inheritance from our pa. Right at the same time, there was a big bank heist over in Westchester. Now, my, my brother Jim, he's been in a bit of trouble before with the law, and they assumed it was us. Us. But it ain't true. It ain't true at all. It's just our right inheritance. It's our pa's money. Believe me, it's completely legitimate. We're, we're traveling to split our share with a half-brother. We don't want to. But it was Pa's wish. You know, it wasn't that much, and our Pa was real generous to us, so we figured it was the right thing to do. I see. But what do you need me to do? Well, you're always traveling, and the Pinkertons won't be looking for you. Well, not like us. You could take the money, you know, 
hide it on your person or in your wagon. We can meet you up at the next town. We'll pay you real well. Sounds pretty risky. It's for good. A good purpose. So, we just meet up in the next town, Springhaven? Yeah. That's it. That's all there is. You'll be doing me and my brothers a great service. You travel from town to town anyway. We can meet you at your wagon. When? Uh, Thursday. That ought to do. But, but wait a day if we get delayed. How much? A hundred dollars. Sounds good. All right. You got yourself a deal. Thank you, bad kitty. All right. But it's all there and counted. We'll know if anything's missing. I wouldn't dare. All right, then. See you Thursday at Springhaven. We'll be watching you. Good night, Mr. Curtis. Much obliged. Good night. Such a fuss for your brother Jeremy with the law and all. Jeremy? It was Jim. Oh, pardon me, Jim. I've got a brother, Jeremy. I know about you boys. There's talk all over. I think you're guilty, but I aim to profit just like you. I need the money, and a hundred dollars will go a long ways. You're okay with what we've done? No, but I need the money, so I'll do it. We can find you if... No worries, Mr. Curtis. A hundred dollars is all I need. You can count on me. Be watching. We'll meet you Thursday in Springhaven. Good night, Mr. Curtis. Good night, Madam Kitty. Just doing my job. 